All right, so this is finally the last video of the week, and it's the essential question is how can we identify the rate of change in real life examples? The rate of change is also in your vocabulary, but this is this is my favorite one because it goes over over real life examples and how the slope is actually modeled in real life. So a rate of change is um, a comparison of how much one quantity changes on average over and relative to another quantity. So for example, if your car has it goes certain certain miles per gallon. Um, when you get a job, you make a certain amount of dollars per hour, or maybe people growing, they grow a certain amount of inches per year. And all of these different relationships can be modeled using a linear relationship. So in this first example, um, Gio's trying to buy a new car and he needs to save up at least $1,500, um, not at least, exactly $1,500 in the next 12 months. Let me write that point down, actually. In month 12, we want $1,500. If he has $300 right now in month zero, how much does he need to save up? So right now in month zero, we have $300. How did I come up with this? Well, our X is our month, and our Y is how much money we have. Down here, I actually already started the graph for you. If this is the month, if we have in 12, month 12, we want $1,500, so that's going to be somewhere up here. And then in month zero, we have $300, so that's going to be right here. So what we want to find is the slope to get this line right here. So how much, what's the rise over one? How much do we need to save each month? Stuff like that. So let's go look look back into this. There's actually two ways we can do it. I'm going to show it the um, using the formula way. So we have two points. We have 12, 1,500 and 0, 300. The way to figure that out we've done this a lot of times already, is 1500 minus 300 over 12 minus 0, because remember we have those two points, 1500 minus 300 is, mental math, 1200. Over 12, it's 12 divided by, 1200 divided by 12, you get 100. So what does this mean? This means that Gio needs to save at least $100 per month to save enough for his car if he wants to get it in a one year so that every month that you go up into the side you need to save one hundred dollars all right so in this next example it's a very similar example Yahira is reading a book that is 320 pages long let me underline that because I always like to know what we have at 12.05 p.m. Yahira is on page 32 so this is all one by 12.50 she's on page 97 so for that find the average rate of change. So what are we actually trying to do? We're trying to find the average rate of change in the amount of pages she's read over time in minutes. So similar to before, let's write down the two points that we know. We know that at 12.05, I'm actually just going to write that as 5 because it's the same hour. Um, so I'm just going to say 5, comma, 32. If you're confused about why I chose 5, um, hopefully this clears it up and then not ask me in person. Next point we have is 12.50, so I'm just going to write 50 comma 97. Now very similar to how we did it before. What's the equation for this? Let me get a different color. To get the slope you need to do 97 minus 32 over 50 minus 5. It's 97 minus 32. Go ahead and pull out a calculator if you have one with you. 65 over 50 minus 40 minus 5 is 45. What's 65 divided by 45? You can actually simplify that a little bit more. You get 13 over 9. Now remember, we're not done. We still have the units. What does this mean? 13 over 9 is the slope. So what this means is that she reads about 13 over 9 or 1.44 pages per minute. That is exactly all you have to do. So remember, this, these are just word problems. All you have to do is find the two coordinates, use the slope formula, look at the graph, or use the different methods that we went over throughout the week to find the slope. Slope is the same thing as average rate of change, and then you've applied it to real-life examples.